So today what I want to do is look at the SEO writing.ai humanized text feature. This has been out and available in the tool for a little while, but I think if we use humanized text and we combine it with a good language model, we can actually provide some very readable blog posts for people that have fairly low AI detection. Now, I'm going to show five different articles today that I've written. Four are very technical in nature. One is not. This is going to give you a good idea on how AI writers look at very technical documents versus non-technical. So we're going to go through all that and let's go ahead and get started. If you're not familiar with seowriting.ai, it's a long form AI writing tool. It's one that I use almost exclusively. I really like the tool. I've been using it for quite some time. One knock against AI writers is many times when you're creating documents, the reading scores are not very good. Most AI writers tend to write content that's fairly complex in nature at higher grade levels, meaning it's not very readable, it's not very scannable. Another thing with humanizing text is it should help with AI detection scores. Now, I just want to be clear, every AI detection tool is different. They're all proprietary. I have no idea what they're looking for exactly when they're trying to determine if something is AI or something is not, but they will be looking for patterns in text that is typical from AI generated content. So that's why using seowriting.ai's humanized text feature in combination with a good language model should help you. But again, in the end, humanizing text comes down to the editing as well, and we'll briefly touch on that too. So when you're in the seowriting.ai interface, and most people are writing one-click blog posts, and so you enter a keyword, you enter your title, and some of the other attributes for the document, but this is the piece that we're talking about today, which is humanized text. seowriting.ai says this is going to enhance your readability and help bypass AI detection they are recommending that you write at the 8th and ninth grade level. If you write documents that are highly technical in nature, that's going to be tougher to do. So that's why the first four documents that I wrote for testing were technical in nature. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. We'll grab the first document. So the first article I wrote, it's AI image generators, how they work, explained. And so this is the article, goes through, talks about, what AI image generation is and how it works. And a document like this is fairly technical, right? So it's harder to write in a simple format. The thing I want to point out is I wrote this article using Anthropic Claude 3.5 Sonnet. To me, that's the best model so far when I've tested things out. It helps your blog post have the best chance of bypassing AI detection. It is not foolproof by any means. I just think it's the best language model for that. And the humanized text feature works well with that language model as well. Let's go ahead and, and open that back up again. Well, here it is. We're going to copy it. Now that we've got it copied, let's go ahead and drop it into Hemingway. Note that it's written at an eighth grade level. That's what we asked it to write at. Well, that's great. That's a good test of something that is a fairly complex document in nature, fairly technical in nature and SEO writing being able to write that article and keep it at an eighth grade level. So I'm very happy with that outcome. If we go over to Zero GPT, and again, this is a free AI detection tool. There's many different ones out there. We can talk about the merits of which one is best to test with at another time. I just don't like buying subscriptions to AI detectors. I just use this as a general guideline to help me know how much I need to humanize this text with my own editing. So we'll drop it in. Let's see what it comes up with here. So this particular document says 21.85% that it's AI. So again, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet language model along with humanized text set, set to eighth and ninth grade reading level. The next article that I wrote that was based on this keyword is inflation transitory or permanent. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. This is a fairly technical article. And again, I think this is the best way to 
test if SEO writing.ai's humanized text feature is working. We're going to copy that. We'll pop it in Hemingway. And again, this reads out at a grade nine. We asked it to write at either eighth or ninth grade level. So it's done that in Hemingway. Let's go to the AI detector, drop that in, let it detect. This one comes out at 55.14% AI. This one did not test out as well, although it is quite a bit more technical in nature than even the first document that we tested, but that's where it's at. So let's go ahead and keep testing. The third article that I wrote was what, what does a mechanical engineer actually do? Obviously it's about mechanical engineering, so it's fairly technical, but I was just curious to see how SEO writing would handle the humanized content piece of this. Let's copy it. Let's drop it into Hemingway and see how it did. Now, this one was a bit tougher for SEO writing to deal with. It comes in at a grade 11. We asked it to write at an eighth and ninth grade level. Five of the 161 sentences are very hard to read. And that's what bumped it up to a grade 11. And that's, that's why I keep testing against these very technical documents because that's the best test for the humanized text feature in SEO writing. You know, for an article about mechanical engineering, I don't know if most people would expect it to be written at an eighth and ninth grade level, but it did its best and it came up with a grade 11. Let's see how it came out from an AI perspective with the AI detection test with zero GPT. It came out with an AI detection score of 57% of the article being AI. Again, you can see the more technical the document is, it's going to be harder to bypass AI detection without going in and humanizing this text by actually doing your own editing. Now, the last article that I wrote was about electric vehicles based on the keyword, how do electric vehicles work? And so again, this is probably going to be more technical in nature but let's see how well the humanized text capability of SEO writing worked. Let's copy this article, let's drop it into Hemingway, and it was able to write this at a grade eight. So that's good, that worked out well. So for something that's more technical in nature, the humanized text feature worked well there. Let's go ahead and just check it for AI content. In this case, it's 45.62% likely to be written by AI. So that's not too bad for a technical document. And again, if you were to go in and do some editing and adding your own perspective and your own viewpoints and your own expertise, that score is going to go lower. And I'll show you why I say that. So I did write a fifth article. Now this one is not technical in nature. This is more, a little bit more generic in nature. This one was based on the keyword, can you go camping with a cat? This is obviously not technical. I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. And again, I used that humanized text feature. I used Claude Sonnet 3.5 as the language model. We'll go ahead and drop it into Hemingway. And the article was written at a grade seven reading level, which is great. Um, let's go ahead and see how the AI detection worked for this. Go to zero GPT, we'll drop this in. Notice for a document that is less technical in nature, the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model worked well. It only detects at 39.21% AI written. This is just straight out of the tool without any human editing. I do not suggest that you write your articles this way. I suggest that you go through and edit all of your AI content. In fact, I just recently did a video on this, you know, how I edit AI content step by step. You can go to my channel, look that video up and see how I do that. The one thing that I did do is I took that Camping with Cats article that we just looked at and I did do some editing to it. I quickly went in this morning, just did a few minor edits, maybe spent 15 minutes editing the document, probably less than that actually. I'm gonna copy this and I'll pull it back into zero GPT. Now, recall that it was at a 39.21% AI detection the first time we ran this article. Let me put in the edited article. And again, about 10 minutes of editing, maybe less. So with just a few minutes of editing, you can see it went down from 39% down to 33%. If I would have went through this article section by section, added my own expertise, my own point of view, that kind of thing. I'm sure I could have even got this lower, probably around 25% AI detection, which would be fine. 
I have friends right now that have spun up new domains. They're writing content-oriented blog posts, and they are ranking in Google. And they are AI written, but they are human edited. Basically, they're picking a keyword. They're having AI write to that keyword. Then they're going in and doing an edit and adding their expertise, their viewpoint, you know, because they know about their niche and these are starting to rank. So even though Google may be able to detect AI in the document, at least at this point, it's not stopping them from ranking and they're brand new sites, brand new fresh domains. And so that's a good sign. How long that's going to last? I don't know. You know, a lot of blogs got slammed in that March 2024 core update. As Google rolls out more updates in the future, you know, it's possible that these sites may get hit again. But at least at this point, they're having some good luck. What I wanted to show you today is how that humanized content feature works in SEO writing. I wanted to show you how it tests out with some various documents. And just remember, all of them were written with the Anthropic Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model. It's the newest model. It tends to be the one that can handle AI detection the best. And from a readability standpoint, I just like the output that I'm getting compared to GPT-40. Even though SEOwriting.ai has this humanized text feature, you can go out and look at other tools that are dedicated specifically for humanizing content. There's undetectable.ai, there's hicks.ai, there's semi-human.ai, there's righthuman.ai. There's a variety of services out there that will humanize your text at an even greater level than what you're going to get from within seowriting.ai. But again, most of these are going to be like paid subscription type formats. I don't happen to subscribe to any of them, but those tools are out there. If you're super concerned about AI detection and you want to try to get as close to zero AI detection as possible, I will tell you that I have had the experience of editing documents running them through an AI detector and having some of the sentences that I wrote myself get flagged as AI. So it's all very interesting. I don't get too hung up on AI detection scores. Uh, there are ways to really lower an AI detection score by infusing your own human edited text into your AI document. If you need a long form, AI writer, I highly recommend seowriting.ai. I have a link in the description. You can get 25% off your subscription if you use my link and my discount code. Uh, I am an affiliate, so if you do make a purchase, I do make a small commission. So I hope this has been useful for you. Until next time, take care.